Welcome back everyone to another video here on Foxtech. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how to turn off the ability to delete apps on your iPhone, whether you're looking to prevent accidental deletions or you're managing a device for someone else, like a child. This feature can be incredibly useful. I'll guide you through each step to make sure you're set up correctly. First, let's talk about the feature that controls this setting, screen time. Screen time isn't just about tracking how much time you spend on your phone, it's also a powerful tool for managing app usage and permissions. To get started, you'll need to make sure that screen time is enabled on your iPhone. You can do this by going to settings, then tapping on screen time, and from there, you can toggle it on if it's not already active. Once you've enabled screen time, scroll down within the screen time settings until you find content and privacy restrictions. This section is where you'll be able to manage whether apps can be deleted or not. Start by toggling the switch at the top to enable these restrictions. This step is crucial because without turning this on, the rest of the settings won't be active. Next, tap on the section labeled iTunes and App Store Purchases. Inside, you'll find a few different options, including one that specifically controls whether apps can be deleted on this iPhone. By setting this option to don't allow, you'll effectively turn off the ability to delete apps. This setting can also control whether new apps can be installed, giving you complete control over app management on the device. Now, while it's easy to enable or disable these settings for yourself, this feature becomes particularly useful if you're setting up an iPhone for a child. By preventing app deletion, you ensure that important apps won't be removed accidentally, and it also helps to maintain control over what's available on the device. One key point to remember is that for these settings to stay in place, you need to set up a screen time passcode. This passcode is separate from the one you use to unlock your iPhone, and it ensures that only you or someone with the passcode can make changes to these restrictions. This added layer of security is essential, especially if you're setting this up on a device for someone else. So once you've enabled these restrictions and set up a screen time passcode, you'll have successfully turned off the ability to delete apps on your iPhone. It's a simple but effective way to manage the apps on your device and prevent any unwanted changes. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. If you found it useful, please hit that like button and subscribe to Fox Tech for more tech tips and tutorials. See you guys later.